Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Upgrade Pack Sunday. We are expecting Upgrade Packs today. That's the normal Sunday content, along with maybe an Icon Moments Player SBC and some more footies content. I want to talk about what's going on with the market, how prices, in my opinion, are going to drop off more today on Sunday as we see more weekend league sell-off and just these cards that are in packs if people have used them because they're cheap uh, and even some of the, the, the cards that are not in packs like Path to Glories and Summer Stars, how I kind of expect those to drop off in price today just based off of what is happening on the market and how some of those cards are already dropping off. But I want to take a look at yesterday's content as well and look ahead into today and just speak about what I think could be happening with upgrade packs today. Now, again, day two of footies was pretty solid, right? We had the footies October favorite round two release. So um, we actually had two footies favorites released yesterday. We had two from October, which this looks really good, man. If they're releasing multiple SBCs, uh, from each month. I mean, we had the Telez, of course, which I believe this is shaped after his ones to watch version that never got an upgrade. And we've already had the same Maximin. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited, right? Because that means that we're going to have a lot of cards that are going to be released over the course of this next few weeks. Uh, if they're doing multiple cards per one month, right? For these footies, favorites uh, that they said, by the way, are only dropping on the weekend, right? Each weekend during the footies campaign will feature player SBCs and additional footies favorites will be released through objective. So it seems to me like we're only going to see these footies favorites like the Telez, like the same Maximin. We've already seen the Tavernier and the Romain Alessandrini was the new one added yesterday. Um, only on the weekends, right? Now, I don't know if they're going to add a third objective. I could see a third object, uh, sorry, a third SBC player today, but I don't really remember seeing any more than like two big time objective cards in that section at the same time. So I think that Alessandrini and Tavernier are going to be our je objectives for this next uh, week or so. So get those done if you will. I mean, they're both not terrible, right? 10 separate squad battles games. It is what it is. You can get them done. Some really nice and fun cards uh, with some insane stats. So that's a dub. Again, I think the Talos SBC is a dub. Now we had the Icon Moments Player Pick uh, Pack SBC that came out yesterday as well. A little bit overpriced, I think, in my opinion, but I honestly think that we are going to see another Icon Moments SBC released during this week. Uh, or sorry, like an Icon Upgrade SBC. Now, today on Sunday is normally a day where we actually get an Icon Player SBC. Last week, we had Eusebio. There's a lot of rumors this week that it could be Zidane, right? They're, they're dropping these big, expensive Icon SBCs with a lot of squad sets. Um, and I really, really hope that they go back to making these SBCs like insane value because again, the Eto and the Mateus still were insane value SBCs. I did Mateus right, love that card right now in the weekend league squad. Um, but I hope that if today is a, a Zidane or a Cruyff or somebody of that kind of tier, I really hope that they again make it a great deal, right? Eusebio being 17 squads was just kind of a lot last week. So um, I do expect to see some sort of SBC along those lines today. And why I haven't done any of these yet, I'm going to do uh, St. Maximin. I'm going to do Telez, right? I might even do Carvajal. Hall. But the thing is, I'm waiting for today with the upgrade packs, man. And I'm really, really waiting to see what upgrade packs they put out. Now, I'm down for an 81 plus player pick. But also, what I would really love to see today is I would really love to see it. The good, the, the upgrade pack that used to be OP in past FIFAs, before player picks were OP, it was the 81 plus double upgrade pack, right? And the reason why I like those two is because you get two cards, not just one. And those were the FIFA upgrade packs of old that we loved, at least that I loved. And again, I think the upgrade packs being out now, I think rares and non-rares are kind of cheap, like if at the discard level below 80 rated. They're not that expensive on the market right now. But all of this stuff, again, is just absolutely flying, especially the 83s and the 84s, which is what, again, we talked about. We knew that it was going to go up on the market. Now, even like this, uh, these price ranges are crazy, man. 83s are like 7.5K, 84s are 13, 85s are 17. But then look how small of a difference here you have between 86 rated cards and uh, 90 rated cards, 10,000 coins of a difference between an 86 rated item and a 90 rated item. It's crazy with all these special cards and packs. So many of these high rated players are just getting so low on the market. 87s are basically the same price as 86s and 88s are only like 3k more than 87s. It's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty crazy. It's all about the lower tier fodder. And that's what is just booming on this market because people are packing these high rated cards 
And what do they need to go and finish their SBC? They need that low rated fodder. So find that very interesting. I hope EA finds a way to supply some fodder a little bit this week, because if they're going to continue to drop this content, they got to find a way to supply it some way. Now, I will say that we're probably going to have more preview packs today on Sunday, which will bring some tradable supply to the market on some of those cards that are in batch one. We're also going to have a lot of selling today just with normal weekly sell off. So I would expect that. Uh, but one thing I want to see is right now we have the 85 to 90 tots upgrade. And if you guys remember earlier this last week, we looked at the SBC code and we saw that there was an 85 to 90 player upgrade SBC that was released as well. I'm hoping that today that would be one of the upgrade packs that they would release. That would be very, very nice for, you know, let's say you got a bunch of like 81s. If they make it an 81 or 82 rated squad, I mean, technically that would come in at probably around 10, actually it'd be about 20K for an 81 rated squad right now with all 81s being 2K a pop. Uh, if you do an 85 to 90 SBC, I mean, 85s are 17K. If you get a walkout from that SBC, you're basically making your money back. So I really don't know if they're going to make it 81 rated, but I would expect to see that SBC dropping and I hope it's cheap, right? I really hope it's cheap. That'd be a great way for EA to supply some people's clubs with that fodder and have that option there to craft if uh, they would want to do that, which I hope they do. But again, I'm really hoping for multiple sets of upgrade packs today, right? An 85 to 90 would be great, whether it's an 81 plus player pick, an 81 plus double, or, you know, even like the 82 to 88 player pick SBC, I'd be really down for that, right? Because that fodder is what I would be looking forward uh, to, to packing. And of course, you know, you think about it this week, like wh whether you're, and in the past weeks as well, are the cards and packs right now really, really going afterwards with upgrade packs? I know you've got some team of the years. I know you have a 95 Messi, you have a 91 Mbappe. Uh, but honestly, the reason why you're going to be going after upgrade packs this week is because of the fodder, right? And whatever packs are giving out better fodder is the packs that you're going to want to go after, right? Because everybody wants to do these footies player picks. Um, but again, in my mind, I just keep thinking, man, how insane is this footies player pick going to be when it's instead of team one, it's team two. We have team of the seasons. We maybe have some of the, um, other foot birthday cards that are not releasing packs right now. Maybe they release them again. Some PTG cards, summer stars. Like I'm just really stoked for when team two comes out. I really hope they release this content then. But again, I think this is kind of going to get us in that mode of grinding the upgrade packs for the fodder. And stuff is going to be very easily craftable as long as the gold rares and non-rares don't get that expensive during the week. If, they, if those get expensive, like if we're talking 1.5K or some of these cards, let me check Nordian Amrabat. How much is this guy right now as a gold rare? Is he still like 800 coins? Now, gold rares are up a little bit. 900 coins for Amrabat. Now, he is 79 rated. Let me check like how much is Christian Falk because this is my guy when it comes to SBCs. Uh, he's still pretty cheap. 850 coins. It looks like 800 coins. So I do expect some of these gold rares to go up because there's going to be so many people hitting upgrade packs to just craft stuff this week, whether it is that footies player pick, whether it is the icon moments player SBC that could be coming out today. Uh, the Carval Hall, the same Maximin, the Alex Tellez. I mean, I would not be surprised if we had one more of these uh, footies favorite SBCs today on Sunday. I could expect an SBC maybe not having an objective, but that's kind of the count that I'm expecting here, right? Moments icon, SBC player, another footies favorite SBC and the upgrade packs. And again, upgrade packs is big content because that allows people to get out there and grind and to do a lot of that stuff. And that's why I've been waiting to do SBCs until now um, is to be able to have a chance at uh, crafting those for a cheaper price later on this week now of course right now we have a lot of cards on the market that are in packs re-released right and a lot of you guys may be wanting to know hey cristiano team of the year if this is a card that i got in my sites when am i buying this dude well of course you know this guy's in packs for two weeks two weeks this guy's in packs yes his price is down so much um but i do expect some of these cards and you're actually seeing it a little bit tonight and i'm just kind of monitoring some of them on the market um you're starting to see a few of them dip down in price a little bit uh, but still they're not, they're not as near as low as they were and all that selling and all that panic that happened on the weekend. I mean, even a really random example here is road to the final Rashford. Uh, some of these guys have actually gotten a little bit rare and they bounce back up, right? Rashford's like a hundred thousand coins right now. He's 130, right? But still in packs for two weeks, I'd be holding off on some of these cards, man. I think that they can still drop down in price, whether it's out of the weekend, um, or maybe if it's something that you're waiting even until next Friday 
with big time upgrade packs probably getting released then. But again, with all the supply, people are using these cards. I really do think you'll see their prices drop off. And the ones that I would really keep an eye on would be the Summer Stars items and some of these PTGs that are not in packs, that are not supplied, but that are still very hyped and that a lot of people are wanting to use right now in this game because they have higher ratings in the stuff that was re-released. Kevin De Bruyne, 649. That's kind of down for him. 650. I mean, he was 700K this weekend. So just a card like this that was 720 yesterday, went down to 650, kind of bounced back up. Just a card that's, you know, kind of being sold off a little bit on the weekend league, right? And with all these other cards getting so cheap, and with all of these coins being taken off of the market, for me, it's re that's really what it's about and why this market is going to drop off because you have people that are submitting a lot of coins into SBCs. That footies player pick, 100K a pop, and people are doing them over and over and over, right? Icon moments player pick is not repeatable, but there's some big time SBCs, right? St. Maximin, 600K SBC. Tell us it's 150K, not a crazy expensive SBC, but still one that a lot of people are going out and doing and crafting and stuff like that. So again, that's what I'd be looking out for today on Sunday is to, uh, some more big time SBCs. I really think they'll do well with those SBCs today. I think that they'll do some good content and watch out for icons as well, right? Root Hullet, middle, 1.2 mil. How much is this Maradona Prime? Still about 1.4. I mean, I'm, it's still some of the prices that you're seeing. I still think you're going to see some drop off from where they're at. Uh, of course, some of these guys got, wow. So Eusebio's back down to like a million coins. So he is down. You know, I was watching this gentleman's son. He's back in the lower 400s. I think a little bit of uh, the St. Maxman hype there. This baby Maradona was cheap again today in, in the 700s. So there's just going to be selling all around, and I think it depends on the content today whether that panic selling is accelerated, but I really hope that the upgrade packs this week are good, right? We'll test them out. We'll give them a shot, but the crafting is what is going to be the main point of this week with all the special items that are in packs. That's just higher rated items that you're going to be able to pack and do SBCs easier. So uh, that's one thing that I'd be on the watch out for. Of course, the lower tier fodder that you need to complete those SBCs with it being so high. I really hope that EA re release like an 82 to 88. That's not going to affect the cards on the market. Um, but, you know, they could release some preview packs that would really supply the market a bit. And if they maybe release like, um, I don't know, tradable pack supply SBC, something today as well. I don't think you're going to see these cards really drop that much, though. Even squad battle rewards is probably not going to uh, really drop these 81s to 85s. Because, again, everybody's getting high rated players and they're doing SBCs that are like 84, 85 rated. And they're just going out and they're buying the low tier players to finish up their squad. So again, if you got in and you have these cards, I mean, bro, you're, they're so expensive. I, I believe the 84s, to be honest with you, are probably even going to go up a little bit more this week. I know they're almost right to their price range. Like Siragoo's 13,000 coins and his price max is 16K. You really might see if it's a big SBC, some of these guys going extinct on the market this week. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Fodder is going to be through the roof for this entire week. It's, it's going to be there for a while, right? If they're dropping content like this, fodder is going to stay extremely, extremely high. And the only way they're going to be able to drop it back down, in my opinion, would be some like two for one packs. Can you imagine two for one packs? They're like a preview pack where you get a second pre... I don't even know how they would do that. I don't think they could do like a two for one preview pack. But I think that would be like one thing they could do to really bring the SBC fodder market back down. But it's only been super duper high for a couple days, so I don't expect that anytime soon. But hey, it's EA Sports. Who knows? I'm not expecting that though, right? Don't read into that too much. But anyways, hopefully it's a big day today on Sunday with content, upgrade SBCs are what we need. I'm going to be grinding. Maybe we pack a little 98 Ronaldo. That'd be insane, right? But uh, really, we're just going to be hoping for that SBC fodder and then you just the ability to do the SBCs cheaper with that fodder. Now, I hope that rare golds, again, don't go up, but it all depends on what EA dropped this week. So we'll be checking that out. Made a few more coins as well, trying to get this coin total up because, man, the content keeps coming. We got to be ready for it, boys. So that's the video for today. Happy Sunday. Let me know down in the comments what you're expecting and what you're hoping to see for this weekend and today content wise but if you did enjoy this video smash a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace out